Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this new series. We are playing Euro Truck Simulator. We are playing the multiplayer version of Euro Truck Simulator. Um, I am starting on a brand new profile. I have given myself some money. But we are starting on a brand new profile. Um, zero skills. We have to start completely from the beginning. I am a keyboard warrior, which means I do have to use my keyboard and mouse for all of this. So hopefully everything will go okay. I've played a little bit of Euro Truck Simulator in single player of course. Um, but never played the multiplayer version. I have turned the music down because I don't know if there's any issues with, um, with the music in this game. Um, so We'll see. We'll see what happens, we'll see how it goes. I am of course starting out of Denmark, out of Odense. Um, basically because I am actually originally from Denmark myself. I am, you know, I've lived most of my life near Odense. Um, so I thought that would be a fitting start place for this game. Right now we are doing um, quick jobs because I do not have any um, trucks unlocked. I have not been to visit any garages for any, any truck companies yet, so I cannot actually buy one. Oh, that was nearly clipping the um, clipping the side railing already. It's not a good start. Not a good start. Um, we are currently playing online with I think. 2,000 other people are currently playing on this server. I am. It is on the Europe 2 server, I believe. So there are chances of, of, of seeing other drivers driving around. As you can see, I've got 2 million euros in my account. Maybe that's a little bit more than I needed. I actually only needed like, you know, 100,000, 200,000. I accidentally gave myself one zero more than I needed. But it allows us, once we've unlocked, um, unlocked a truck stop or a, a, a truck dealer to buy a truck and of course spec it out completely so I'm hoping we will um, we will find some on the way um, the job we are driving today is furniture from Odense to Olborg it is a small job quick job we are driving around with Depotrans our Ugly little truck here. Not very nice looking. Very noisy. Extremely noisy to be honest. So let's jump back in the cab. Uh, here we go. Driving over Lillebelt Bridge. I, you know, this actually brings back memories. It looks very, very realistic as well. There's another. There was another driver there. courtesy honk with by the horn but if you look on the on the minimap from time to time you will see um, some blue dots moving around and that would um, be other drivers there is no um, AI cars in this game literally all traffic is um, other drivers there is there is no computer generated traffic whatsoever um, so there may be few and far between some of the um, between seeing other drivers in this game of course unless you you're in the very 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 busy shipping lanes then you're likely to see other drivers see there we go little courtesy honking never heard anybody Other than that, it's just cruise along. We've got two hour drive, 160 kilometers until we um, reach Olborg and we can do the delivery. As I'm doing keyboard and mouse, I am not good at the. Oh, that was the wrong key. I wanted to try and get rid of my side mirror. You cannot do that first, stop your truck. Ah, is that one? There we go. There we go. 
is over there. Uh, what does my cab look like anyway? Like I said, this is just a, a rented truck. Give it to me by the the company whose job I'm driving right now. So you're not going to see anything special in this truck at all. You know, you're gonna you, you see the, the typical. I actually like this layout to be honest. The speedometer is pretty clear. Easy to um to decipher everything on there. See the temperature of the oil, 80, 85 degrees. I think that's the oil actually, 85 degrees. I think this might be the water temperature, the coolant. Yeah, 7.30 in the morning and we're just slowly rolling along the beautiful countryside of Denmark. If you've never been, you know, you should probably go and visit Denmark sometimes and, and avoid Copenhagen. You know, it's it's very touristy over there now. Um, of course, everybody says, "Oh, you need to go to Copenhagen. You need to see the Little Mermaid. You need to see the Tivoli Gardens. You need to take the um, a trip down the the canal on the canal boats and things like that." But I mean, the rest of Denmark has things to offer as well, like Odense, for example. You have um, Hans Christian Andersen's house. Um, they obviously have this. I think Denmark has a couple of zoos. I think there's one in Alborg, is it? And there's one in Odense, and of course there's Copenhagen as well. So it's it's most people just see Denmark as as um, as Copenhagen. Um, you also have Legoland, which is over near Billund, which is actually in the um, in the west. So you know, if you want to see all these things, I would I would advise you know. It's recommended to do it. You should at least go and see see Legoland. It's it's a nice little place. I haven't been since I was like a young child, maybe five or six years old. But um, I still have memories of that place driving around. Or at least I got a little Lego driving license when I was a young boy, which was amazing. You know, it was it was great fun. Nope, that guy didn't want to hop. It's just we're cruising down the road. I could put the radio on, but again, I would just probably get um, copyright strikes for that. So we don't want to have any music on. But I mean, come on, look at this beautiful countryside. Oh, we need to make sure we stay on the road. Don't wanna, don't want to crash. I mean, I don't have to pay anything to repair the truck. At least you know it's it's just someone else's truck altogether, so not a problem for me. But if um, Ah, look at that, I've already got 1% damage just from kissing the barrier right at the beginning. So that means I'll get a reduced... Um, reduced payout and, and less experience points to um, to upgrade my character, my driver, in this game, which is not exactly ideal. It's a, it's a terrible start. It's not perfect, but, you know, what can you do? I made a mistake, and I have to live with the consequences. So we'll see. Just trucking along, trucking along. Yeah, Denmark is probably not the most busy place in the world. It's a very small country. Yeah, we're just sitting there on top of Germany, keeping the Germans in, in you know, keeping the Germans from from having too much fun. I find Euro Truck is a nice relaxing game. You know, I load it up when I just need to relax a little bit. Oh, there's a little farmer over there. Um, I think there are some mods um, available for, for the multiplayer version. I mean, this mul the multiplayer itself is, of course, is a modded version of the game. But there are then also mods that you can play with on the multiplayer version to make it look nicer. You can um, mod your vehicle. So you drive something different. I mean, I'm just driving the stock stock trucks right now. I have not really done much in the in the way of modifying the game because I don't see the need need to. Right now, we're just enjoying enjoying the base enjoying the base game for what it's worth. Um, enjoying meeting other drivers. Hopefully, staying out of too much trouble, not causing too much trouble ourselves. We don't really want to um, to get kicked and banned from this um, from this game. So, yeah. 
have some fun. Have some fun. That's what it's all about, you know. Trucking around. Oh, and look at the minimap. There's actually a, a truck up ahead. See that blue dot on the map? Not sure why, but he's um, he's clearly not moving. Ah, he's starting to accelerate very slowly. There we go, see? just a keyboard warrior, I play with keyboard and mouse. Um, if the series takes off and I get got a lot of good feedback on it, I may invest in a, in a steering wheel and a, and a proper mouse. Uh, not, sorry, not a, a mouse, but a, like a joystick or a controller for it. Um, but until that point, you know, I've been playing with keyboard and mouse for this game for a while. Whoa, not gonna get that, unfortunately. Breaks a little bit too hard. first delivery here. And then after this, I actually have not seen any, still not seen any truck stops. It's a little bit disappointing. I wonder where they're all at. Are there any up here, to be honest? I was trying to zoom in a little bit. Is there any, there is some stuff up here, which might be a truck stop. So maybe we should go and, um, how much time have we got left before we have to deliver this? In six hours. You know what? I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna go and try and discover this truck stop. Hopefully, buy our own truck. I got Old Borg discovered. I've entered the city. people in, in here as well, parked up. I'm not sure, do we take this first one or do we take the next one? No, I'll take the lights, I'll take the next set of lights up here. I'll turn, turn down here. A hotel, a very nice looking hotel. Cruising down here at, um, at 40, 41 kilometers now. Uh, I have to go all the way over here. We get it. Uh, it's a recruitment agency. Oh my god. Not even a truck. Uh, polar fish. So clearly it was not worth coming down here after all. It was not a truck dealer, it was just a fish shop. So we have to, looks like we'll have to um, take another quick job after this one. China Man King is of course parked in his um, service center. Sounds like someone's repairing around, repairing their trucks. Come on. There we go. Very nice looking game. I like this game. Can't 
actually. Oh, there we go. Now I can see the light. Ten kilometers, ten minutes left. There we go. Let's go. Of course, the normal law of the road applies. Unless otherwise indicated, you have your the guy coming from the right has priority unless there's signs signaling otherwise, so But there is a lot of lights here. I should have probably not gone this way after all. It's not ideal. We're doing a lot of waiting around. Straight slug all the way back to um, to deliver this deliver this um, oh yeah this furniture forgot what we were delivering just then yeah let's um another red light come on jeez there we go. Room. You have left the city. Yep, I'm going into the industrial area now. Looks very industrial, doesn't it? A lot of houses. Oh, there's speed cameras, Danish speed cameras, so those pillars on the side of the road there. We have an IKEA down here. It's a bit of texture glitching there. I think that's because of the um, the meshed fence on the distance. It's not rendered properly. Um, but it's alright. There's an Oskin. We'll deliver here. And here's our delivery point. You have entered a non-collision zone. It's just basically in case other drivers are around. They cannot, you cannot crash into each other because there might be traffic in certain areas. There might be a lot of traffic, um, especially for deliveries. You know, people take the same long jobs. Job delivered. Yeah, see, there's a damage penalty, as you can tell. You can t see, it's not the the biggest in the world, but it's enough. Now, normally when I look at this and I pick my skill points, I always go for. You can see over here the um, the explanation what the what you get with the different skill points. Now, long distance, of course, means you can take the long jobs, you can drive far long distances and things like that. But for early money. Normally, when you're playing single player, for example, you want to go with fragile or high value. In this case, I don't need either because I actually have quite a lot of money. Um, so I can take the long distances. It means we can go a bit further. Right now, I can only drive 250 kilometer jobs. If I do rank one, I can do 350 kilometer jobs. As you can see, rank two is 550, rank three is 850, rank four is 1,100, rank five is 1,500, and rank six, if you fill long distance up completely, Deliveries anywhere, so you can basically drive from one side of the country to the other, or one side of the um, the map to the other side of the map. Um, for me, I think we're going long distance because I want to have some of the longer jobs. Now, can I purchase a truck? A, a truck? I don't think so. Oh, I can. It has actually given me a truck dealer in Rostock. You know what? Let's go and buy a truck. That's a car. No, thank you. We're a trucking company for crying out loud. We wanna. We don't want that truck. Sorry, wrong one. Uh, maybe I have to. 
See, available from level 16. So I have to buy this truck. Let's customize it a little bit, see what we can do. Uh, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Uh, we'll upgrade the um, transmission, I think. Inside, no. No. Yeah, let's do a. Let's, should we do a multi tiered? Let's do this. It looks like construction colors. I like that. I like that. What can we do? We can do a mirage. Oh, that gets rid of my sun visor. Actually, I quite like the um, sun visor, so I'll put that back on. But I can't have both. Oh, I can. Now I can. Put some lights on the top. Here we've got the um, the mirror. We don't have access to too many things right now because it's obviously we're only level two. This is just the the basic truck uh, with premium to install it. Premium needs to be removed. What? Uh, it's not. Com yeah, that's fine. Oh. Hmm, interesting. That's a Scania truck. I don't want a Scania. I don't want a Scania. I want my um I want my Renault. Other people probably want their Scanias and things like that, but I like the I like the Renault. So you know what? We're gonna go back in. Gonna customize it again. Gonna put this light bar back on. Put some lights up here. Put the samurai on. No, we'll keep the samurai on. Don't have any special wheels yet. No, nope. nothing there. Uh, it's nothing special really. Just a simple truck. Get the mirror. Get some accessories if you wanted to. Get the jewel. But I don't have. Um, I don't actually have the um, the mod. Where you can install more accessories. I do have the um, Rocket League. Yeah, Rocket League. Let's put some Rocket League cars down. Because you know why not? Anything else we can customize from inside? Ooh, Rocket League. We're gonna have a football hanging there. No, that's fine. That's also fine. I think that's it. 136,000. Let's do it. Let's buy that. You have left the city of Rostock. And look at that, that's my garage. In Odense, that is my little garage. We're starting out. You start out with a very small trucking car, trucking empire. Um, but there you go, my first little truck. Level two trucker. Getting ready for the next, next um, big delivery for your this new starting trucking empire. Yeah. Let's have a look at the beauty. Look at this. This guy. This guy looks like possibly construction company. Construction trucker. But he's gonna be a global empire, he's gonna take on many jobs, not just not just um construction jobs. Ah, we have um Yep, yeah, like Rocky Road Rockers. Is um, my trucking company need money? Brand new Renault trucks for sale. Thank you. That is because I actually set um, my preference to be Renault design, the Renault premium design. So that's why it, it came up and and gave me the Renault. If you choose another company or another trucking company, when when you start the um, the game, when you set up your profile, you choose your preferred design. If you choose something else, then of course you will get other available designs right from the beginning compared to me, but I, I quite like this one. It looks nice, it looks good, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to taking it for a spin, but that will have to wait until the next episode. Thank you very much, everybody, and I hope to see you again. Until then, bye-bye.